Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a 42 year old software engineer. I previously founded the language learning web app called Readlang. I sold that to Duolingo where I worked for a few years and while there created the popular stories feature, which is now the second tab in the app across all their platforms. And as of three months ago, I've been on my own again to work on my own projects. And so armed with nothing but my trusty MacBook, I'm ready to start putting stuff out into the world again and seeing where it leads. So I've decided to start making some YouTube videos to share my startup journey. So it's been three months since I left my job at Duolingo. I set myself some goals. I did this in the form of OKRs. I think it's a good system for keeping track of kind of medium term goals and planning. So for Q1, I jotted down these in, in my notebook. Uh, one of my objectives was to complete MVP of a photo puzzle app. My most important key result was to get this in a launchable state as a web app. Let, let me explain to you what my idea was. Why a photo puzzle app? Okay, here's the pitch. Almost everyone these days has a smartphone. Everyone has been taking thousands of photos on their phone. They enjoy getting reminded of these old photos sometimes by features that Google Photos or Apple Photos has. But beyond that, a lot of people don't go back and enjoy these old photos that they've taken. And the way they do interact is often quite passive, just watching slideshows maybe that Google or Apple makes for you. What if there was a way you could interact with these old photos in a more tactile way, forcing you to pay attention to the visual details, engrossing yourself more deeply in the scene and reliving those memories in a more engaging way? There was an interview on the Tim Ferriss podcast with Hugh Jackman, where he talked about creating jigsaw puzzles, real life jigsaw puzzles out of his photos that he's taken and how this was like a very nice experience for him. I, I thought that was pretty cool. And I actually did this and made a jigsaw puzzle for my partner and she enjoyed that. So the, the, this gave me the idea of like, is there a more digital native frictionless way to get a similar experience that could utilize your entire photo library and that you could do conveniently on a small mobile device for which a traditional jigsaw puzzle wouldn't translate that well. Now there is. So let me show you what I've been working on. Enter JigglePix. This isn't completely polished or fully baked just yet, but I'm a big believer in getting things out early, like making quick prototypes, getting them in the hands of people that can provide me with feedback so that I know sooner rather than later whether an idea isn't going to work at all. Um, what's the point in working on something for like six months before potentially learning that it's just a dumb idea that's never going to work anyway? Now I'm going to try a demo of JigglePix. Let's run the development server. Okay, I'm signed in to a test account because I didn't want to share photos of other family members and friends. So to protect their privacy, I've just grabbed a load of public domain photos from Flickr. You'll see like a bunch of public domain photos that I found online. So now that I've done that, if I go to my local, locally running version of JigglePix, and sign in with Google. It asks me for some permission, continue. And then it needs permission to access my Google Photos library, continue. And now we're in, huh? Okay, that's unexpected. Anyway, so it's meant to start here. I'll fix that. <laughs> you can see the name is JigglePix. It says fix your photos to win stars and unlock more seasons. So you see in the corner, I have zero stars and the call to action is this button here, which contains what looks like a broken photo. So I'm gonna click on it. Gives me this default JavaScript alert message. I need to make this prettier. 
drag one piece onto another to swap them. So the shape of this piece looks like it belongs in the corner. So I'm going to move this one over here. Ooh, yeah, and, and the piece is swapped. If I try to maybe swap other pieces incorrectly, it won't allow me. So I need to try to figure out where each of these pieces go. That one goes there. The corner ones are the easiest. A bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle, it's easiest to start at the corners and then you'll try to build up the rest of the picture. Um, I would just guess that this goes here. Yeah, the guy's head, his, oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, his hand goes there and that goes there. Yes, and now the next one. And I'll just do these. Obviously, it's more fun to do this when these are your actual pictures uh, so that you recognize the people in them. There we go, next. And now that I finished the session, you can see it shows you a little slideshow of the pictures that we fixed. Continue and to go back and you see I've earned a star for completing that session and I've opened up the next session and then beyond that there looks like a key. So let's do the next session and see what happens. Nice. Ooh, and now you can see it says unlocked next season. So at this point, I could either carry on on winter 2017 or I click this button and it takes me to the next season, spring 2018. And if I click back here, you can see the main page now shows winter 2017, spring 2018, and there's other seasons yet to be unlocked. And I see I've earned two stars. So this is basically the whole thing right now. You just keep going through the, the seasons, fixing your photos, earning stars, unlocking more. It's, it's kind of a nice addictive little game uh, to get you interacting with your pictures, reminding you of old memories. Anyway, that's, that's it for this demo. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this actually a good idea? So if you're interested in checking it out, please head to jigglepix.com, enter your email there, and like the first 100 or so people, um, I'll allow to use this private beta, like ASAP, and gradually I'll be adding more people to that, assuming that there aren't, you know, issues preventing it from working, unless as I improve the product. Um, so yeah. Please check it out. I would love to get your feedback on it. If you're interested in more updates about this project and other projects that I work on in future, please like the video and subscribe because I do think it would be nice now that I'm working on my own to have some kind of outlet where I share uh, what I'm working on. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Bye bye.